Hey what's up guys, welcome to another episode of AGR Tech 1 and in this video we're going to be learning how to route the HTC Desire uh, both GSM and CDMA versions running Android 2.2 Froyo so let's get started so first of off, all you need to make sure that you've charged your HTC Desire 100% that way we won't encounter any problems and uh, I just want to start by saying a uh, disclaimer I uh, don't take responsibility for any damage this may cause to your device be sure to back up all data uh, before proceeding uh, as this could potentially damage your device alright guys so now you want to unlock your device and the first thing you need to do is go into your settings now in settings you need to go to applications choose development and then you need to uh, go to USB debugging and make sure USB debugging is checked once you've done that hit the back key and then you need to go to about phone software information and you need to be able to see this you must be running Android 2.2 otherwise this will not work and uh, once you've also done that you need to go back and go to phone identity and it will have a device serial number make sure you write that down and keep note because we will need this later and uh, make sure you write it in double check it if you have to and make sure that you have it written down you might want to write it down on some paper or write it down on notepad and once you've done that we are going to need to go into our hboot and check if our hboot is supported so what we need to do is power off the device hit power off hit ok and it will shut down the device and then we need to enter hboot so what we need to do now is press the volume down and the power key together like so and the device will boot into hboot so as you can see you have a white menu with a couple of options and some little android dudes on skateboards down below so now what we need to do is look at the top and it'll say right here it'll say bravo which is the code name for the uh, HTC desire and uh, it'll say S on now this method which I'm about to show you will also include S off uh, if you need to know more about S on and S off uh, refer to my website to the FAQ section where I um, talk about the differences between those so it'll say hboot at the top and my hboot is 0 0.93.0001 now this is the version of hboot that you need to be running alright so that's pretty much how you find that and uh, now we need to press the volume uh, down actually we need to press volume up I believe um, and we need to be able to reboot it now so um, I'll come back once I figured out what to do okay guys so we are back up I just figured out what to do you need to go to fast boot press the power key and then select reboot with the power key and it'll reboot um, so now you need to unlock the device once more and you need to make sure at this stage that you have your drivers installed uh, for your PC uh, I will provide a link in the description to my website where you can download the drivers required and then you need to connect your device uh, via USB cable which uh, should have come with your device in the package and just plug it in like that and it will come up with a window and it will say choose connection type we need to make sure we select charge only this is very important that you do this and then hit done now if all goes well you'll say it'll say charge only and it'll say USB debugging connected now we need to make sure that USB debugging is connected otherwise this process will not work and once we've done that we can uh, just put it aside and the rest is on our computer so I'll come back once I've jumped onto the computer okay guys so now that we are onto our computer and we have connected our desire to our PC uh, make sure that you've selected charge only and you've installed the drivers of course now one thing I quickly want to point out is that if you have HTC sync installed you might want to go ahead and uninstall that before proceeding HTC sync has been known to interfere with this process and uh, could damage the process of uh, root access on your HTC desire so if you have it go ahead and uninstall it if you don't have it great we can go ahead and proceed as normal so once you've uh, uninstalled HTC Sync and you've connected your device and the drivers are connected we need to go to this website which is revolutionary.io I will leave the link down below and you need to scroll down and you'll have two downloads download for Linux or download for Windows 
Now since I am on Windows, I'm going to hit download for Windows. But if you are on Linux, make sure you select this one. And uh, since I already have it downloaded, I'm not going to bother going ahead and downloading it all over again. Um, but once you want download it, you'll have a zip file, and you'll need to use uh, something like WinRAR to extract it. Uh, so what I suggest you do is make a folder on your desktop and name it as Revolutionary, and then just open it up and extract all the contents into this folder. Now these fast boot drivers will not be there. I just put that there, uh, and these are the drivers which you can download from my website. So once you have all that um, stuff in the folder, you just want to minimize that because we will need, need that later. And then on your uh, computer on the website, you want to select your operating system. So mine's Windows, obviously. Your device, you want to make sure we select HTC Desire. Now this is the GSM version. If you have a CDMA, just make sure you click this one. So I'm going to hit HTC Desire. Hboot version. So we found this before. So mine is 0 0.93.0001. And these are the only versions of HBoot supported. If you have a newer version or an older version, you may need to look for a different method or a way to downgrade your version of HBoot. So select that and the serial number, which uh, we'll get to in a second. So now you need to keep this website open because we will need it. Now go back to Revolutionary. And I just want to also uh, mention that if you have any questions, visit their um, documentation. It contains a lot of uh, info and stuff you might need to know it tells you all the devices that are supported along with their HBoot versions so go ahead read the uh, documentation I'll leave a link for that also in the description so if you're unsure about anything be sure to check this out and you'll be able to uh, answer any of the questions so back to the revolutionary.io website we need to minimize that go to the revolutionary folder in which you extracted and here you'll have a revolutionary.exe along with all the appropriate DLLs needed to run it. So double click on the revolutionary exe and you'll be opening a command window like so. So once you're in here, immediately it'll tell you your serial number. So to get that serial number, we need to right click, go to edit, mark, and then just kind of select it over here. Hit the enter key, which will copy it. And uh, I suggest you paste it to Notepad or something, which I have done already. Um, so go ahead and do that. Uh, and then what you need to do is copy this. Go to the revolutionary website, and where it says serial number, just paste it in there. And then hit Generate Key. So it'll give you a beta key, which we will need very soon. So once you're in revolutionary, we need to go ahead and enter our beta key. So we need to copy this, right click, copy that, and then on here we need to right click at the top, go to edit, paste. And there you have it guys, there is our beta key. Now what I suggest you do is save the beta key, you uh, might want to make it onto a text document and save it to your desktop, uh, that way if you ever need to uh, restock your HCC design and reroute it once more, you won't have to go and do all this stuff all over again. So scroll, uh, minimize that, and once you've pasted in your beta key, you just want to hit enter. And it'll say beta key accepted, thank you for participating. And it'll say zerging root, this may take a minute or so. So I'm just going to pause this video and come back once it's done. Okay guys, so now it's done, it'll say sending in Caroline, cleaning up, rebooting to fast boot. And it just has all this other random stuff, but I guess it's there on purpose to make sure that you know it's working. So uh, don't touch the device. The device will turn off randomly and go into fast boot. Um, don't worry. Don't freak out. This is completely normal. And once it's done, it'll say success. Life give, uh, gave us lemons. We didn't make lemonade. Um, so anyway, it will say, do you want to download? And of course, internet connection is required. And flash clockwork mod recovery. Now, since I am going to install it, I'm going to press Y for yes. And uh, just quickly, I want to say, while, while you're looking at your device, uh, it'll be in uh, the bootloader, which we saw before, and it'll say right at the top, in purple running, revolutionary, and then where it says uh, Bravo, it'll say ship S off. Now, this means that we've successfully S off our device. 
So now we just want to hit Y if we want to install Clockwork Mod Recovery. And uh, for this tutorial, we'll, you will need to do that. Of course, if you plan to install a different recovery later, you can go ahead and do that later on. So just hit Y and then hit Enter. And it's going to be downloading Clockwork Mod Recovery for your device. Now, Clockwork Mod Recovery is extremely useful. Uh, it lets you flash custom ROMs and do all that kind of stuff. And I'm um, definitely going to be using this to uh, install some custom ROMs on my HTC Desire. Um, possibly Cyanogen Mod or something like that. If you have any suggestions for ROMs you want me to try out for the HTC Desire, let me know in the comment section below. I am quite new so I don't uh, with the HTC, so I don't really know that many ROMs for it. But I'm sure there are plenty available. Alright, so it's downloading the recovery. I'm going to pause and come back once it's done. Okay guys, so it's finished um, installing the recovery, and once it's done, it'll just close out automatically, so you won't need to close it. You can close the revolutionary folder, and you can go ahead and close the revolutionary website. Of course, I'm going to keep it open so I can add it to the description. And now, we're going to need to also download a file called superuser.zip. Now, you can download this again from my website under the HTC Desire section. I'll have a link, of course, in the description. So once you have it, you'll have a superuser sign.zip. Now we need to transfer this file to our device's SD card, and then once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and flash it to get superuser and root access. So I'll come back once I've done it. Okay guys, so now that I have transferred the superuser.zip file uh, to the device's SD card, which uh, of course will be in the description, you can download it from my website. Uh, now we need to go into fastboot once more. So again, hold the power key, select power off, hit yes, wait for the device to shut down. And once it does shut down, we're going to hold the volume and the power key together once again and you'll have uh, the fastboot screen again now you will notice right at the top here it says revolutionary and uh, it says um, S off so we've already done the first process which is uh, S offing the device now we're ready to go ahead and flash the zip which will give us super user and root access so now you need to use the volume key to select recovery and then press the power key and the device will boot up into the recovery mode so we will wait a bit and it'll come up soon so um, it'll reboot into clockwork mode recovery which is what we installed before and as you can see it says revolutionary and then at the top it says CWM version 4.0.1.4 now you can use the trackball or the volume keys and navigate down to install zip from SD card press the power key and mine is not working for some reason um, you need to press the power key I believe so you need to go down to install zip from SD card um, navigate down and uh, you need to press this center key I just uh, realized and you'll have this, you'll say choose zip from SD card press this again and as you can see I have hardly any files on here but I'll have the super user 3.0.7 signed.zip so we need to navigate down using the trackball and then press the trackball and it'll come up, you'll say do you want to install we want to scroll down and go to yes press it once more and it'll begin flashing the zip so it'll say mounting system um, and it'll begin installing the entire file so we'll just wait and I'll come back once it's all done okay guys so now I'm back up and now you just want to go to your app drawer and scroll down and you'll now have a new application called super user want to go ahead and open that up and we just want to hit OK and there you have it guys super user is working and we have root access so now you can go to the market and download any root related app like set cpu titanium backup or anything like that and open it up and if it asks for root permission just hit allow and there you have it guys this has been a tutorial on how to root the htc desire hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if so then hit that like button down below um, and the subscribe button down there as well 
uh, for more videos like this. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.